Welcome to Leadership Through Partnership, presented by the Lorain County Commissioners, show number one. I'm Craig Adams from AM 930 WEOL Radio. Our guest today is Lorain County Commissioner Ted Kalo, someone who knows quite a lot about partnerships. Well, that's what we work for, and it's nice to be kicking off our new Leadership Through Partnership program here today. Uh, the abilities for the Board of Commissioners to work with WEOL and the Chronicle Telegram to tell the public what we've been working on and what's available at county services, I think, is just a benefit that we haven't been able to utilize before. One thing that's been around for a little bit, perhaps underutilized, we'll find out momentarily, is the CAB, C-A-B, and we're not talking Uber here. We're talking about something people can actually use in their community to make it look better. Talk about that. Well, the interesting part of the CAB, and it's called CAB, but it came out of a grant from the Keep America Beautiful, which Lorain County is a part of. And what the cab trailers are, are fully stocked for cleanups for our not-for-profit school groups, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, anyone who wants to do a community project to clean up. Now, these are trailers. They've got hitches on them, ready to go. All you have to have is a vehicle to move them. They have rakes in them. They have blowers in them, uh, shovels, cleanup tools, which is really important for people trying to take care of their community. How many cabs do you have? We have two full cabs, and then we have two smaller cabs, so a total of four uh, that, again, are available. And, again, this partnership series and being able to talk about this on the radio and in the newspaper is that they're underutilized. Uh, all they have to do is call our Lorain County Solid Waste Department. We'll have a number at the end of this, uh, and you just reserve your spot. So it's nice. It can be used anywhere within Lorain County. You have two large ones, two small ones. Are they stocked differently? Yeah, the smaller ones don't have as much equipment for smaller cleanups. You have a small park, four or five people working. And then the larger trailers have more equipment on them, more bags, more cleanup items, so more people can volunteer. There's no sense in taking a large trailer out to a very small cleanup where there's only going to be half a dozen people. Uh, but when we're doing our large parks, and especially with Pride Day, we'll be talking about those larger trailers have everything you need to do a thorough cleanup. How long can someone sign one of these out? They're normally over a weekend. Uh, we don't have too many during the week, but again, if it's reserved, uh, I'd be more than happy. I'd love to use it Monday through Friday for those groups and retirees who you know, aren't working can use it Monday through Friday. We do have a buildup. People use it on the weekends more than they do during the week. Does it have to be an agency or could it be perhaps even just a neighborhood group? Oh. Half a dozen neighbors who want to make their area look better. Oh, yeah. Neighborhood groups are fine. Well, somebody's responsible and signs for the trailer. Like I said, it's available to all the citizens of Lorain County. They're all taxpayers, and this was brought here by Keep America Beautiful grant. So it's available to anybody who wants to do a good deed within their city. As a commissioner, how do you know a grant like that is out there? And what's the process for getting that to make this happen? Well, in regards to our solid waste department, a lot of the funding is grant funding. There's a tipping fees, of course, from sending uh, your waste to the landfill, but there are a lot of grants to the Ohio EPA and the federal EPA. We've been fortunate enough that our staff stays on top of it, and we've got a very good consulting group, GT Consultants, who help us through that process. But we've been able to get a shred truck, which we use around the county for shredding for residents. Uh, there's just a lot of equipment we get. We just got a grant for $200,000 for a new cardboard baler at our collection center, which is located on Abbey Road in the city of Elyria. And that's open three days a week for the residents to drop off their products, uh, whether it's household hazardous waste, old paint cans, cardboard, computers. You know, it's there for the public to use. Before we started today, I noticed online that you even have a pressure washer or rototiller <laughs> available for that. Correct. Yes, like I said, the, the smaller trailers uh, sometimes have those small products, but they can be assigned to any of the four trailers, depending on the project you're doing. So it's always best to call the Solid Waste Department and ask about the cab trailer and describe your project so our folks know what you really need there. I imagine sometimes of year it's perhaps a little busier than others. Yeah, through the year, the spring cleanup is always busy. The fall cleanup is always busy. We get some in the summertime. Again, wintertime, not too much cleanup. <laughs> but, yeah, now's the busy time. We really want to promote the use of it because it has been underutilized. Well, let's talk about now because here comes Lorain County Pride Day. Correct. Saturday, Wonderful. May 19th. Mm -hmm. And I would, 
I would like to think that these cabs will be utilized all weekend. Well, we, that's what our hope is. Uh, we've got a few of them reserved already, but Pride Day is a big kickoff in the city of Lorraine. Actually, it sometimes kicks off earlier. We've had some great groups, if you're familiar with the Black River cleanup, the local yaks. They just had 300 people up cleaning up the Black River, kicking it off the 1st of May, and now we roll into the community Pride Days. There will be dumpsters in the different communities to haul your trash to. People are cleaning up their roadways. They're cleaning up the streams. They're cleaning up the creeks in their backyard. They're cleaning up empty, vacant lots that have been left to go, you know, sadly, uh, not taken care of in our cities. So, yeah, Pride Day is big. We get over 2,200 residents in Lorain County participate with a multitude of groups to clean their neighborhoods, clean their parks. Uh, the Rotary in Lorraine has always done a good job with Lakeview Park because, you know, the Rose Garden was given by the Rotary. I'm a former member. but uh, So you have a lot of those groups, the Lions Group, all over the county, everybody participates. Again, the churches have been real good. The nonprofit agencies have been very good. And just neighborhood cleanups from our residents. I've noticed, too, you mentioned about 2,200 volunteers mm -hmm. in more than 20 communities across the county, so it's it's certainly widespread. Oh, it's very widespread. And it's been... Uh, it's promoted very well by our solid waste department. The commissioners continue to promote the pride day. Cause if we can't take care of our neighborhoods, then who's going to? I also saw, too, that more than 783 bags of trash were collected last year, and there were plantings of six edible garden sites. Yeah, that was real big. Uh, on top of all the trash and the plantings, which are really important to our environment, uh, there's been participation in the planning of the part of the Keep America Beautiful program is also doing the healthy plantings and stuff that help, you know, the monarch butterflies and the bees and repopulate. So those type of species planted that, you know, improve our environment overall. And it's not too late to get involved. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll take your phone calls right up to 430 on Friday. And if not, just show up at a site. Most of the cities are promoting on their websites to Pride Day and the groups promoting and who to call. So if it's your safety service director, your township trustee, your village councilman or village mayor, if you contact them, I'm sure they can give you a place to go to help with Pride Day. And if you could once again give us the number for the Solid Waste District. Right, Lorain County Solid Waste, 440-328-2368. They're there from 830 to 430 every day. Uh, please give a call. We'd like to make sure the trailers are all reserved. And also give a call if you're looking for a place in your community to actually participate because they'll have a list of the groups that have, you know, registered to participate. Ted, thank you very much thank for you. the information. And this has been the first edition of Leadership Through Partnership presented by the Lorain County Commissioners.